Damon Somerset here at the Progressive Automotive X Prize with Jim Lorimer from the X Tracer team, Switzerland. Um, we are here with the the gas powered version of the E Tracer. Is that correct? Exactly. It's a gas powered version of the E Tracer. It's called a Mono Tracer, but uh, exactly the same as the E Tracers, other than the uh, the powertrain. R roughly around 200 uh, horsepower, 200 miles per gallon or more. We're thinking, and uh, range of probably 200 miles. H how do you feel about your performance so far? Uh, we are pretty happy with it. Both vehicles got around roughly 180 miles per gallon. I say we're thinking it can get better than that, uh, closer to 200. I guess the most distinctive thing about your vehicle is that it has wheels that pop out. Tell me about the idea behind that. Well, essentially, it's the uh, it's to replace the legs and feet of a motorcycle rider. Since the vehicle is totally enclosed, it uh, provides stability when you come to a stop or go at slow speeds or are even uh, in slippery situations. It can be programmed to come up and down automatically, but they found it a little better with human interaction uh, to decide when to bring them down and when to bring them up. Mm -hmm. Do you find with the average consumer that that's a little unnerving for them? Or? It's like anything else, it takes, it's, a little, it's different, but it, it's definitely learnable and fairly quickly learnable. The vehicles, uh, Mono Tracer and X Tracer, they're the excitement and, and fun of a motorcycle, the speed and performance of a sports car, and the exotic and um, unique feel of an Italian supercar. Mm -hmm. And they, they really are that. They get uh, attention anywhere they go. Uh, everybody loves them, if, even if they just love looking at them. They love it even more if they can get to ride in them. Right. And a lot of people uh, want to buy one. Unfortunately, they're very low volume, so they're very expensive still, like everything else here today. Check out the website for streaming video, live telemetry updates directly from the cars, and you can see other video blogs that I've been doing.